Hey everybody, how's it going? So I wanted to take a second to talk to you about Google My Business. You can see here on the screen, this is an email we got because we manage a lot of Google My Business accounts, Google Business Profile for our clients. What you can see here is, this is a reminder from Google. And it said, did you know that after six months, your most recent post won't be highlighted on your business profile? And Google is saying here, keep your profile fresh with a new post. Now, here's my problem. You know, as a, as a dentist, as a vendor, as a, as a website owner myself, it's a problem for me because here I have Google telling me that you should be posting on your profile, period. And so the question becomes now, does that mean that I've got to be posting in order for me to rank higher on Google My Business? Does that mean I ought to be posting to rank higher on organic? Um, and the answer is I don't know. And the problem that I have is that this is one of those things where Google says, just do it and it's at your own risk that you don't do it. So one of the things that we do as part of our Google My Business service is that we do post for our clients once a week, sometimes twice a week on Google My Business, repurposing the content for you. My concern as a, again, as with the many hats I wear is that Google is telling us that you've got to post to keep your profile fresh. My problem is it's very difficult for us as an agency, even as a business owner to say, what's the ROI on that? So. What we provide our clients is a measurement of the calls and the clicks that you're getting each month. So we can see at least, you know, if there's a change. But again, it's something that unfortunately I think that we all should be doing or having a service like ours doing it because Google is clearly saying here, keep your profile fresh with a new post. And, you know, to keep attracting customers, get in the habit of sharing. Obviously, if they did not want you posting, if they didn't feel like it was important to getting your business ranked or your practice ranked, they wouldn't be telling us that. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. But I think if you're not going to do it on your own, which you could, then you should certainly consider having a service. Ours is one, you know, that does it. Do it for you, again, just because Google said so. It's kind of like moving to Google Analytics 4. It's because Google said so. And that's what we offer for our service because, listen, you know, there's no secret to how to prep a crown. And there's no secret to what we do for Google My Business. So let's take a minute and I'm going to show you what we do. So if you wanted to use our form, our own formula in your office to do it yourself, totally fine. So let's navigate over there and we'll take a look. So here's our local SEO page and you can see that here explains why. Um, this talks about how you can set up your profile if you haven't set one up yet, because you do need to. That's a video on how you can set up your profile. Over here, so this is just a quick look from a little while ago, just about our clients who are seeing an average increase of 17% in their phone calls per month. This is just six clients that we took um, in this sample here. Now, we work on it for three angles. Again, this is something we can do, or you can repeat it for yourself, is we do an initial optimization of the listing, which should be done. We do citation submiss submissions. Google wants you to, and here's an article on it, Google wants you to be doing NAP, name, address, physician, name, address, uh, phone number, because they want you consistent across Maps and Google My Business. And, you know, accurate, consistent NEP is a ranking factor. So we've got that and we do that. And the third thing that we do for you is we are doing the highlighting your content to keep the profile active in order to satisfy that email that we got from Google that says, hey, it's been a while, you should be posting. So we do the initial optimization of the listing. And here is what we do. We do citation building. Here's what we do. And we do content promotion. And here's what we do. So just to give you an idea of, in here samples from four of our clients, and um, that's just to give you an idea of what we're doing. The way you can measure the ROI, I mean, the best way is to look at, and we give you data, the number of phone calls, or if you do it on your own, the number of phone calls that you're getting from Google My Business, and what the increase in phone calls is. Um, and if you see an increase in phone calls, then you have to hope that with that increase in phone calls, hopefully they are good phone calls, you are getting an increase uh, in production. Now, obviously the way to really tie that in, and it's beyond the scope of this video, is our HIPAA compliant call tracking service. Because with HIPAA compliant call tracking service, we can track the source of a call with a name, HIPAA compliant, and then you can turn around and track that name in your practice management software to actually say, we had X number of phone calls from you know, organic traffic, organic search, and we're paying this much for SEO or whatever it is, and here's, here's the people and here's the actual production that we generated. So now we know here's our marketing spend here and here are ours, here's our production and what do those numbers look like. So at the end of the day, that's really where we all need to be moving to to get that information. But 
hopefully this is a start for you and just, you know, the take home here is it looks like you've got to be posting on Google My Business just because Google said so.